This video is about data compression and the one of the technique used for uh, compressing the data that is Huffman coding. Uh, let us start. Uh, first, what is data compression means? Data compression involves encoding information using fewer bits than the original representation. There are two categories of uh, data compression. They are looseless and uh, loosey compression. Either way, file size is reduced. Looseless compression reduces the bits by identifying and uh, eliminating a statistical uh, redundancy. Loosey compression reduces bits by identifying marginally important information and removing it. Uh, the process of reducing the size of a data file is popularly referred to as a data compression. The data compression uh, basically saves both time and space. Data compression algorithms are uh, more successful if they are based on a statistical analysis of frequency of the data and the accuracy needed to represent the data. Uh, the data in a file can be compressed in following ways. There are two ways. That is, uh, first one is uh, irreversible compression method, which includes uh, irreversible uh, compression method means once it is compressed, it can be uh, obtained back like uh, JPEG. Uh, there are two types, image compression and uh, audio compression. Uh, image compression, as we all know, JPEG is a compressed image file and also audio compression example is MP3, is a, uh, MP3 a compressed audio file. Reversible compression method includes notation change, run length encoding, Morse coding and F1 coding. Uh, we will study about the F1 coding in this video. Uh, basically, F1 coding is uh, created by uh, David Albert F1 1925-1999. Uh, F1 coding is an entropy encoding algorithm used for looseless data compression which means no information is lost which means no information is lost during an encoding when you decoded only one possible answer can come from a decoding and originally message always be upper there are many ways to store the information computer scientists are always looking for the new and better ways to store the strings of data with as little space as possible Hoffman coding is a method of storing strings of data as a binary code in an uh, efficient manner. Encoding data doesn't take a lot of memory as, you, as we know. Um, Hoffman coding uses variable length coding which means that symbols in the data you are encoded are converted to the binary symbol based on how often the symbol is used. And the length of the binary symbol may be different. Uh, for uh, each character depending on how often it is used. For example, if the character A is used in your data a lot, the binary symbol representing it is a shorter. If it is used rarely, the symbol representing it is longer. This way all the data will take less physical space when encoded. Uh, there is a way to decide that binary code to give each character using a tree. Um, here is an example uh, for uh, you uh, there, there is a five different letters and also a listed frequency of how often uh, they are used uh, you can see uh, a character a and d uh, are uh, examples uh, used the least frequency and uh, well the b and c uses uh, more often uh, uh, the frequency here uh, means uh, represent how often the character appears in a string of data. Uh, imagine uh, these five separate trees. Uh, uh, we are going to combine them slowly bit by bit. Uh, we are going to combine uh, two trees at a time based on a smallest number tree. That is smallest number first. Uh, let's start. Two smallest numbers here are uh, A and D having the frequency 1 and 2. I will combine them in that order. Uh, like I said in order uh, least is now branch on the left least is branch on the left that is A contains uh, that is least value uh, which is in the left and uh, greatest is the branch on the right that is D. 
uh, and have new tree combining two which is now greater than the frequency uh, that is three uh, now I will continue and take uh, two least value tree which is this case or the tree with three and uh, tree with B that is uh, which has a frequency six the uh, frequency as uh, B as a value six now I have a tree now again I will take two least value tree in this case it's C that is uh, it has a uh, least compared to other E that is uh, E as 8 C as 7 so it is least we are taking C so I will combine them finally uh, so after combining it will looks like this uh, that is uh, finally we have uh, two trees uh, two large trees uh, and we will combine them also to create a one large tree with all the character at it uh, okay now we have a large tree containing all the characters we can now assign a binary code to each symbol by going down the tree each left branch receives a zero and each right branch is a binary one So if you have to follow the tree from very top to each character you will get a string of ones and zeros to create a binary representation uh, here is how it looks like in this case uh, a will get a value 0 0 0 a will get a value 0 0 0 and uh, b would be uh, here is a b b would be 0 1 and uh, c would be 1 0 and uh, D would be uh, 0 0 1 and U would be 1 1 there are about uh, uh, there are what A B C D E will each to be converted to uh, we use Huffman coding to make sure that the code takes little space as possible uh, wouldn't it make sense to give each character is as small as possible when encoding a binary uh, here is a, a simple example we have to encode the a b c d e using our result using f1 coding uh, based on the result which i have found uh, we have to encode the a b c d e using f1 coding it is pretty simple to take each individual character and uh, replace with the binary number and we found for each one so we will get this one uh, for a b c d e as we found the result in the previous slides uh, this is what we get encode and uh, message for a b c d e uh, we can uh, also find the length of a character based on the one coding that we have just uh, found uh, average code word length uh, we can find by using this formula that is uh, 1 by f of t star sum of uh, d of i star f of i for i is equal to 0 to i is equal to n that is 1 by um, total frequency times the sum of all the individual frequency times the uh, each letter I will give you an example of it uh, here we can calculate the average length to be that is uh, 1 by total frequency that is 1 plus 6 plus 7 plus 2 by 8 and uh, times the length of each individual character individual character times the frequency of that character for a would be length of a 3 times uh, for a would be a length of 3 times and multiply with it frequency the frequency of a is 1 that is 3 star 1's and plus uh, uh, b as a two times uh, with the uh, multiplied with the frequency uh, six and uh, c as two times multiplied with its frequency seven and d as a three times multiplied with its frequency two and uh, e two times multiplied with its frequency eight so we get uh, average character would be 2.125 digits long Uh, this is how we can find the average uh, length of an uh, code. Uh, 
this is how often coding works uh, thank you